this weekend, celebrations for Juneteenth continue with an inaugural jubilee in our state's capital. Our Heather Fordham joins us from downtown Raleigh this morning to share how an organization in our state is defining how it will honor Juneteenth this year and moving forward. Heather, good morning. Justin Caroline, good morning. This marker outside of Fire Station 3 pays tribute to the first all black volunteer firefighter company in the city of Raleigh. Fire Station 3 is also where the Juneteenth Jubilee Parade will kick off this weekend. I caught up with the organizer, Chaz Moore, and he said he hopes this parade becomes an annual tradition. We must hang together or we'll hang separately. This is a quote from Benjamin Franklin, the first fire chief. It's the motto of the Victor Company. They were fire company number one in 1869. As Chas Moore explains. And then at the 10th North Carolina State Fair, they, they won a contest and they changed their name from uh, engine company one to Victor Company. Moore is a firefighter of 16 years. Some firefighters died in Worcester, Massachusetts. So that's where I was born. And that was kind of the beginning of thinking about service and to to the community. He's also the chairman of the 21st Century Victor Company. So we took that name based off the volunteer fire department that protected Raleigh. The company is made up of firefighters of color who do community service projects, paying tribute to their original name. Some were free, but most of them were were probably enslaved. And so now that they had their freedom, one of the first things they went and did was fight fire to protect Raleigh. And their freedom came on a day known as Juneteenth, which is why Moore is making a tradition by holding a celebration of freedom. You know, I just kind of appreciate the legacy of it all. Um, firefighting has really been what I've done my entire adult life. and It's very important to me, protecting our city um, and kind of giving back, you know, giving back to, to the community and, um, and just service. And that celebration begins right here at Fire Station 3 on Saturday. They'll start off with a chain cutting ceremony at 10 a.m. And the parade will continue down East Street and end at Chavis Park with the Jubilee. Back to you guys. A big celebration and could be the first of uh, many in, in the years to come. A tradition for many families, I'm mm -hmm. sure, in the future. Heather, thanks so much.